Hey everybody, this is Jim, the Tabletop Engineer, and I would like to welcome you to a new series that I'm uh, going to be running. This is Core Space. If you have never heard of it, it is a science fiction uh, skirmish board game in a sense. It uses miniatures, it uses terrain, but it also uses cards and dice. Um, it's a... Uh, as I play this game, I'm going to explain a lot of the rules, and I'll probably do that for a couple episodes um, until I'm quite familiar with the rules, and so are you. So basically what I've got here, what the game is, it's a two-foot by two-foot area right here. Um, the core game came with this mat. It's a neoprene mat. It also came with punch-out terrain, which you can see I've used to make the walls. Now, I'm doing a top-down view of this, but I will take some photos of everything uh, from an angle, and I'll include those photos at the end of this video so you can get a better look at this setup. But in a nutshell, I've got two crew members over here in an airlock. They will be entering. This is mission number one. It's called Trader's Gambit. In this, in this uh, game, there are three civilians. One, two, and three. One of these civilians has a data chip that I'm supposed to try to get from them. I don't know which one is the hacker, so I'll have to probably go to all of them. Um, there are no current enemies on the board at this point. Now, the enemies, the enemies you are fighting in this game are called the Purge. They are these robotic enemies. There's different. There's four different categories of them in the core game, and um, they go from easy to very hard to kill. And you do have a crew of four. However, in this first mission, only two crew members are allowed to participate. And the uh, the purge are the enemies. Now, I am playing this solo, but you can also play this in what I call semi-cooperative. And by that, I mean, if you had an opponent playing, you can either work with them uh, <laughs> to, to do certain missions, or you can treat them as an adversary. But the downside is... Not only are they your adversary then, but you've also got to deal with the purge. So sometimes it's uh, it's better to cooperate with uh, an opponent. But in this case, again, I'm running it solo, so that doesn't really matter. All right, so in this game, I am supposed to approach the one of the civilians. I don't know which one it is, and I'm, I'm going to do a persuasion check, which if I, if, I, if I make it, they will give me the data chip, and I can leave the board, and I get a reward. But while I'm doing that, there are crates uh, in various locations. One here, 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 here. Small ones and big ones. And I've prepared those inside our small chits like this that have various weapons and tools such as medikits and ammo clips and things like that. I prepared all those uh, hidden. So what I did was I just put them in my hand and I just took two or three, whatever the, uh, the instructions told me to, and I dropped them in there and then sealed the crate with a little lid here. So I don't even know what's in these. And, and that's the way you're supposed to play the game. Now, um, at any time when I'm in a room, and a room is basically defined by you know the borders of the walls. So this right here is a room, and this is a room. Even though this big thing is considered a room, the rules state that you know if it's a sufficient size, you could treat it as, say, two rooms. So you might treat this as a room and this as a room, even though there's no wall here. And the reason I tell you that is when you are in a room, if there's not a crate to search, you can do what's called a general search. And you can only do a general search in a room once per game. But when you do a general search, you get to pick a random token. And I keep these in a bag uh, right here. I'll just shake these up and then um, pick one at random. You can choose to swap that out with your character's current load or not. Now, each character has this small little plastic board, and these are these these things swap out. So if you play a different character, you know you you pop the character sheet in here. I'm playing Quell, and I'm playing Sondar. Sondar is the captain of the ship. Uh, Quell is just a crewman. They have a loadout here of weaponry, a knife, stem pack, and a laser rifle, and then they have a career uh, or a a specialty uh, thing here, which lets you level them up and develop skills. 
And then these tokens represent things like ammo, skill use, and health. And I'll take pictures of these and post them at the end of the video so you can see a close-up of the two characters that I am running. Uh, this game goes in phases. First is the uh, trader phase, then the um, uh, purge phase, and then lastly is the um, I'm sorry, lastly is the civilian phase. And the game does use dice, so dice will be used to, to make various decisions. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here. And on the first turn, this is called the hostility tracker right here. As this, as pegs get added to it, it goes from rela relaxed to guarded, watch your back, and higher. And basically, each one of these sections defines how many enemies it's possible might pop on to the um, to the field at any given time. Uh, the map will the map for setting this up tells me that there are certain entry points where the enemies will uh, will appear. For all practical purposes, the civilians will treat purge and traitors as enemies. Now that's not always the case. Sometimes uh, you roll dice, the civilians are cooperative, sometimes they're shooting at you. But the civilians will always treat the purge as an enemy. There are line of sight rules here. There are windows and doors. Doors are considered unlocked but closed, whereas windows you can see through them. Uh, that helps with defining you know, movement, like if a civilian is going to move to the closest target, uh, a window would allow them to see one uh, if, if there's a window there. Other than that, there's little bits of terrain scattered around here and there that I can, I can search through once I get there. Now, initially there is one peg already placed in the uh, hostility tracker, and that was defined by the mission. But every time you start a, start a round, when it's the player's turn or the trader's turn, you put another peg in and you draw an event card. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the turn. I'm gonna put a peg in the hostility tracker here. So now there's two, but I'm still in what's called relaxed uh, mode. And then I draw an event card. And this happens every time uh, tur the turns in or end and it comes around to me. So on the event card, it basically has uh, different categories depending on what the hostility tracker is. I'm in relaxed, so I just look at this first section and it says uh, guarded, pot shot, the nearest, unengaged civilian with a line of sight to a purge character makes a ranged attack. You're, you're to assume, I guess, that the civilians are armed, and that's usually the case in this Wild West sci-fi game. So, oh, I shouldn't put that back. Uh, as there are no purge on the map right now, they're not going to be doing that. So, um, that's the event that's in effect right now until I draw another uh, event card. So on my first turn, every every uh, trader that you run can do a, a, a certain number of actions, and these actions are defined on their character card. Both of mine have two actions each. You can move a maximum of four for an action up to a maximum of 11. So on my first turn, I'm going to move the captain four in, one, two, three, four, and I'm going to move him another four, one, two, three, four, and that puts him outside of a door right here. And then um, Quell, I'm going to have him do one, two, three, four. And instead of doing a second move, I'm going to have him do a general search. So I take this bag, and typically, or not that bag, typically what I do is I, um, I just dump these out, and I just shake them in my hand. I don't have a bag. I'll try to find me a bag. And then I'm not going to look. I'm just going to pull one at random. And I got a, an ammo, ammo clip. Is that it? Uh, yeah, an ammo clip. Good. I could probably use that. You do run out of ammo in this game, so I've got an ammo clip. Now, what you can do is you place it next to the character that found it. If you have room on your character card, you can put it on there, but I have a full, uh, the two little ones and one big one here. So, the only thing I could do at this point would be to swap one out. Um, the knife, <laughs> the knife is good for close combat, so I'm actually going to hold on to that. Uh, and I'll, I'm going to leave that ammo clip sitting on the ground where I know I can come find it later. Now, if you are playing with a second player, it is perfectly legal for them to go over there and take that ammo clip that I found, uh, but I'm playing solo, so that won't happen. The other thing, as I mentioned, you can only search a room one time. So that is what's in that room, and there are no, there are no containers uh, in that room. So that is the end of my turn. The next would be the purge phase. There are no purge and there won't be while we're in relaxed mode. So we go to civilian. So I'm going to go clockwise. I'm going to start with this one up here, and I'm going to roll. This is the die it tells me to roll. It's, it's got six unique sides, and I basically consult a chart 
uh, for the icon to tell me what that civilian is going to do. So we'll do this first one. I rolled uh, two footsteps, which is obviously move in a direction. And it says they're going to move that way. So one, two, three, and I'll just put them over here, four. And let's do this one. This one is shoot at, I think that's a shoot one. Join crew of closest trader in line of sight. I have no traders in line of sight, so this one's not going to join me. A, a civilian that chooses to join your crew will fight for your crew. Um, and then once you get them back to the ship, you can choose to keep them on as a crew member or let them go. Let's do this one. I rolled a same thing, join a crew. Man, we're, I really needed to make those rolls when my, my guys were closer. And that is the end of the first, the first round. Um, we're back down. We're back to the hostility phase. So I add another peg to this. Now, you, the other time you add a peg is the first time a trader, either team, but in this game I'm solo. The first time one of my traders shoots a gun during a turn, uh, you add a peg. <laughs> so uh, the, I guess the the noise is you know attracts the purge. So right now I'm still in relaxed mode. I'll draw another event card. And under relaxed, it says nearest civilian to an to an enemy moves twice directly away from it. There are no enemies, so they will not do that. And I believe you do those immediately. I, I'm going to double check, but as I understand it, the event cards you 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 deal with them when you draw the card. All right. So my captain opening a door is not an action. You're just going to go through. So he can move four. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. He is next to this container here. So I'm going to take the lid off, and as you can see, there's some chips in here, and you can look through them. You don't have if you were, if I was playing an opponent, I don't have to show them what I'm seeing. I have a common pistol, a machine pistol, and a combat sword. Well, the sword is kind of cool, <laughs> but uh, not looking to get in close combat. That machine pistol looks really awesome. It has a, it's worth 12 to buy, but I can sell it for six. So I'm going to take the most expensive item on here and I may end up, I may end up selling it. Now on my captain's sheet, I have a pistol, a stem and a rifle. I'm going to drop that stem and put it back in there. I don't, uh, and swap it out with this machine pistol, which has much better. The three means I'll roll three dice when in close combat, one die uh, attack die in medium, and it's not a long-range weapon. So that was a real good search there. Uh, now the search is in action. So I moved and I searched. So that is the end of my captain's phase. Now we're back to uh, Quell, and he's going to go one, two, three, four. He's through the door. I'm going to have him search uh, this thing, so I want to move him. Well, you know, we're running out of time, so we need to get going. Uh, there is a there is a a civilian in this room, so I'm going to get him going this way to try to talk to that civilian. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and that is the end of that. There are no purge. Let's see what the civilians do. I'm not in line of sight of any of the civilians, so I don't have to worry about them shooting at me. So we'll do this one. Uh, that is a shot. That is a make an assault action against the closest target, then move twice in the direction. If no target, move in that direction. So there's no target, and it shows it moving this way. So what I do is I always treat it that if they hit a wall, they're going to go the opposite direction. So he would move four. One, two, three, four, this direction. All right, um, let's do this one. Uh, that is a live one. If hostility A live one is a hidden enemy that hides an, as a human or a, or a traitor until it's revealed, and then they become this nasty one called a live one. But... In this case, we are not in a, a track, a, a hostility tracker is not high enough for them to make an appearance yet, so you ignore that. And then finally, I'll do this one, which is the same thing. It's uh, this little shadowy figure, and that one would have done the same thing. All right, we are now at hostility track number four. No shots have fired, so I don't have to worry about that. And I put the, the pin in here. We're still relaxed. On the next one, I will start rolling for purge enemies. Draw an event card. This one is relaxed. Watch your back. Rebel. Someone is not happy with everyone's blatant disregard for the common man. Choose an unengaged civilian at random. 
They will make a ranged attack against the nearest enemy and then make a move in the opposite direction. Uh, a ranged attack against the nearest enemy would be one of me, but there's walls, so they're not going to do that. And it says they're going to make a move in the opposite direction. So I'll play this as, um, I'm just going to roll the die for a random direction. On this die, there are small arrows. You just roll it and it tells you where they go. So it says it's going this way. So there's a door here. One, two, three, four. So they're, they're, it just sort of keeps them shifting around. All right, um, that was the event card. It is now my turn. I'm going to have uh, Quell move. Uh, oh, you know what? He moved, so I can't approach him yet. Um, we got to get these civilians. Uh, the Purge are going to start swamping soon, so we got to get going. Um, one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to double move. One, two, three, four. Now... He's in line of sight of this civilian, so I'm hoping that my next roll for this civilian is not an attack roll. Captain's going to do the exact same thing. Uh, you know what? He's going to go the long way around because there's uh, there's a there's some searching that I can do down here. Do I want to do that? There's no door there. He'd have to go this way. You know what? Um, I'm going to keep them together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So he's in the doorway, and that is all I can do for my um, player phase. Purge phase, no pe no, no uh, purge to deal with yet. And now it's the civilian phase. So we'll start with this guy. I hope I don't roll what I, uh, an attack. I rolled a, I don't know what that symbol is. Let me see, number five. Move toward nearest unengaged trader. If they reach, may swap items. If no traders, move in uh, that direction. So you know what? He can move towards... Move towards nearest unengaged trader. That would be him. One, two, three, four. That was excellent. I need that. This one. Let's see what this one's going to do. Uh, another live one roll, so we don't have to worry about him. And this one is... What is that? Join crew of closest trader in short range and line of sight. He cannot see, them, see me, and he's definitely out of range, so that would not happen. All right, uh, does it say to move? If no traders, move in direction. The arrow's pointing this way, so one, two, three, four. They moved. All right, that is it for the civilian phase. Now we're back to um, my, uh, or back to uh, turn one. So we are now in guarded hostility phase, which means there is a chance a purge might show up. So I put a pin in here, and what it does is it's got a little symbol of the basic, um, the basic uh, purge right here. And I forget the name of it. I can look that up for you. It's called a harvester. Now the harvester, I roll the black die right here. And depending on what face it shows up, it will tell me how many show up. There are one, two sides that are blank. That's what I want to roll. There are three sides that have one and one side that has two. So, what did I roll? I rolled a one. All right, so I'm going to place a harvester. Now, the map tells me that there are six places it could start. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to roll the, I'm going to roll the uh, chance die here. It has a numbers on it. I rolled a three. So that three corresponds to right in the middle here. So this harvester, where did I put him? This harvester is going to appear, make an appearance right there. All right, so he's, yeah, that's, that's how it works. Um, now, it's my turn. The harvester will only move on the purge phase, so we're not there yet. We're still on the crew phase. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move, I'm going to move two because I want to put this civilian between the other civilians in case they decide to take a pot shot at me. Um, there's cover. I've got cover through the uh, civilian. Now, for the civilian, it says I have to roll a d6 to find out if that is the hacker or not. So here's a random civilian card. The persuasion is two. So basically it says that I have to roll two. It says, I, it says you roll dice equal to the stars. Quell has two stars. You roll two dice and persuasion two. So I need two hits. And I only got one, so I would not have been able to persuade him. So it doesn't matter. I don't know if he's the hacker or not. He may be the hacker. 
All right, have to remember to check those rules sometimes. That was his first action, was to move. Second action was to persuade. So that's the end of his turn. Captain is going to move four. One, two, three, four. And the captain's going to try his turn. So the captain has how many stars? Also two. And I did. I rolled two. So I persuaded them to talk to me. Now I have to figure out, are they the hacker? Again, one to four, they are not. Five to six, they are. I rolled a three. That is not our hacker. All right. And that is the end of my turn for as a player. Now we go to the purge. Now for the purge, uh, I already determined where he where he rolled. They activate based on their rank. Now right now I've only got one, so that's the lowest rank. Uh, and they have a there's a there's a chart that you follow to determine their action. Am I engaged with an NPC? The answer is no. Is a target if the is a target in line of sight? No. NPC will move towards largest target via shortest route. All right. So here's my two targets. So the shortest route. All right. So he will move four. There is a door here. So uh, one, two, three, four. He moved towards, and it's still no line of sight, so he can't do anything about me there. All right. That's the end of that. Now we do the uh, civilians. So let's see what this civilian does. I rolled a walk away and the walk away is this direction. So I'll say one, two, three, four. This civilian is a live one. No action needed. The other one is, I'll consult that one. That one is move towards nearest unengaged trader and swap with them. So one, two, three, four. They can only move uh, they only get the one action, so that's as far as he can move. And that is the end of that phase. So it's now back to the start of the turn. I place another peg. No shots have been fired, so I don't want to do that. We're still in guarded, so there is a chance uh, of a, of a uh, two, one, or zero harvesters. And I rolled none, thankfully. No harvesters show up this turn. All right, it is my turn. So I'm going to move the captain four to see if this guy is our hacker. Uh, first off, I need to do a persuasion. And I'm just going to, because I don't want to keep finding other cards, I'm just going to assume they're all at the same level. So a persuasion of two. I need two hits. And I, I can't remember. That's I think that's not treated as a hit. So that failed. So the captain failed. I'm going to move him. One, two, three, four. He'll do the exact same thing. Persuasion. And I failed that. So that was not good. Uh, but the good news is I'm getting further away from the uh, harvester and I'm getting closer to the civilians, which are the ones I need to in engage with. All right, now it's the civilian's turn. We got one right here. Let's see what he does. Uh, where is that die? There it is. All right, this civilian right here will walk away that way. One, two, three, four. This one, uh, what is that again? Join the crew of closest trader in short range. All right, let's do this. So I have this ruler here. Short is this. And believe it or not, there is not a join the crew of closest trader in short range and line of sight. If no traders move in a direction. So it says they'll move this way. One, two, three, four. I'm, they hit it and then I'll move them down. And then I've got, uh, did I do them all? Did I, oh no, did I do this one? <sighs> Which one did I just do? I did, the, I did that one. Yeah, I, yeah, I was going in, so I'll do this last one. And that is, join the crew of closest trader in short range. Well, obviously, they are now part of my crew. If they are part of my crew, the question is, are they the hacker? So let's find out if they're the hacker. Um, I roll this die. They are a member of my crew. So I'm going to take this off, and I'm going to put a, a blue base on to indicate they are part of my crew. And the other thing I can do to remind myself is I can use these other blue ones and uh, do do such. And I'll have to determine what the weapon is, but I'm probably going to just play it that he's got a pistol, just easy to remember. All right, um, this one joined my crew. Let's see if he's the hacker. Five to six is what I need, and I rolled a three. That means that is my hacker right there. All right, so he's a member of my crew now, and he will act during my crew phase. Uh, what did I do? I just did all the crew, so now we're to the... Or I did all the um, civilians, so now we need to move this guy. There is no door over here, so he's going to want to go this way. One, two, three, four. 
and I believe it said he only gets the one action. They get two. I, they do get two actions. I remember that now because some of the some of the actions are paired. So let's see. He moved four, and he would have moved four more. He would have gone one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now on his turn, he would go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So now he. Oh wow. So now he is in line with us of a civilian but I can also see him. So thankfully, he cannot fire or do anything at this point. I need to do the civilians now. So let's see what this one does. We'll roll that white die. And that is a... What is that? Move into cover from nearest enemy. All right, I'll move behind this thing. That provides cover. Let's do this one. Now, this one's a member of my crew, so I'll treat it as crew. This one is... Ooh, that's a make assault against a closest target. Assault. An assault is a hand-to-hand, -hand, so the civilian's not going to be able to do it. Uh, one, two, three, four would be moving towards these guys. All right, that is it for civilians. We're back to my turn again. Let's add a peg. We're still in guarded. I did not, I forgot to pull one of those last time. An event card. Sorry about that. Uh, if you pull a card and it's relaxed, which is uh, where I'm not if you if you if it's nothing you just ignore it so I ignore that one. I'm gonna pull a second one since I didn't pull the previous one. I'm in I'm in guarded, and it doesn't say anything it doesn't say anything for guarded so I don't have to worry about that. All right so those were not too scary. All right the ca they got to get to this guy so the captain I'm gonna I'm gonna send Quell in here Quell's gonna try to persuade I need two stars. Uh, I got one. That's not good. Uh, captain's going to move in here and try to persuade. And I did not get it. Man. Now, the crew member is a crew member. So do they get a persuade? I would think so. They get to move. And they'll try to persuade. I'll be like, try to talk him out of that data chip. I need two. And, of course, he does it. He managed to convince him. So now we know the hacker. And uh, we have, I'm going to put this on the base uh, of this crew member to indicate that they have the data chip. All right. Now, I haven't done a lot of searching of these. I've got I've got this guy. Oh, you know what? I should have fired at him. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay. Well, uh, we will play this. It's purge phase now. So following it, is the target engaged with NPC? No. Is it in line of sight? Yes. Does the NPC have a shooting statistic? Uh, it does not. It can only punch. So, uh, if, it, if does it have a shooting hat? No. It will move towards the target via shortest route. That would be... Well, the shortest is actually the crew member with the data chip. One, two, three, four. One, two. All right, so he's done his full movement, but he does not have any actions left to attack. So, that's probably a good thing. All right, that is it for purge civilians. Let's see what this civilian does over here. That civilian, uh, nothing. Got the the live one, and this civilian is going to move into cover. All right. So away from that guy, the cover would be one, two, three. I'm just going to move him over here, and that is the end of. That's the end of that turn. So now we add a peg, and we are in. Watch your back. It's getting, it's getting much hairier now. In this case, I roll one die for a harvester to see how many of these appear, and I roll a, the same die to see how many of these other ones called devastators uh, take. So let's do the harvester first. Let's see how many show up. Uh, one, and I'm going to roll for where it appears. One, two, three, four, five, six, four. Uh, one, no, what was it? One, two, three, four. It appears down here. Let me look at the map. Uh, the map shows it appearing here in this hallway. Nice. There's a wall there, so that's good. Uh, and now let's see if an, an, a, a Devastator showed up. So once again, you roll the black die, and nothing did not show up. That's probably a good thing for me. All right, draw an event card. Uh, I'm not in relax, and I'm not in cover me, so I don't have to, I don't have to worry about this. 
I will check the rules. I'm pretty sure that if your phase is not on the card, you do not have to deal with it. My turn. First thing I want to do is, because he's engaged with my civilian, my civilian cannot run because he would get an automatic, uh, an automatic hit. So I'm just going to have my captain fire point blank with his pistol. I get to roll three dice. You always roll with the blue, and then you add the red ones as you need them. So all I need, his armor is one, so as long as I roll two or more stars, it's enough to take him out. And I rolled three stars, so that harvester is gone. All right. Um, the captain fired. Now the captain can move. Now I have to get back to the airlock, and right now I know there's, a, there's one down here, so I'm going to have the captain do his four move, two, three, four. He's booking it, all right? Maybe we'll have time to search this crate, crater. We don't, or a, a container. I just don't know yet. Uh, Quell, I'm going to leave Quell sort of holding back to deal with this guy. I'm going to move the civilian his full four. One, two, three, four. I guess if he's a crew member, he'd move two twice. One, two, three, four. I will have to look that up. I cannot remember how the civilians, if they get one action or two actions. I think they may get one. But he's a member of my crew, so I'm going to treat him like that. He would get two actions. And then Quell, I'm just going to move Quell, because this guy's going to come through this door, but he's going to have some, some line of sight issues. So Quell, I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Oh, you know what I could have done? I could have moved him. I'm going to move him to this crate and search that crate. So let me dump these out. See what's in there. I have a military pistol, enhanced. I like the sound of that. A common pistol and a energy baton. I don't know what the... The energy baton is good short range, and I can throw it, And but I like the I like the pistols. Multi, military pistol. I'm taking the military pistol. And now, I remember, I have to leave something behind, so I will leave his... Um, I'll leave his blade. I'm not going to worry about that. And now he's armed with a pistol that is really nice. Uh, that is the end of my phase. Now we go to purge. The purge is down here. It would move four. One, two, three, four. And then we move four more. One, two, three. I'm going to pretend it can hop over. It's going to engage this civilian. That's the hacker. You know what, hacker? You were hard to get to. I'm not going to worry about you right now. You're on your own. Um, that is the end of the purge phase. Now we move to the uh, civilian phase. So this civilian is going to nothing. He's going to stay hide, hiding. This civilian, this civilian, the way, I know there's rules about it, but since he's, it says he is going to move in a certain direction, but he's engaged, so he'll take a, he's going to get an opportunity attack. The way this works is, this guy gets two dice, and all it takes is one star, and that's plenty. So, oh, so that's the other thing you got to be careful about this game, is knocking the terrain down. Um, so he knocked. He he was able to knock out that civilian. So poor civilian is no more. All right, that is the end of the civilian phase. It is now the end of the turn. Uh, place another peg, and pull an event card. I am still in. Watch your back. Ooh, watch your back. Tourist. One civilian will enter the board at the nearest entry point to a trader. If none are available, lower the hostility by one. Well, I do have a civilian, and he's going to enter the board at the nearest entry point to a trader. Well, I would say, um, I tell you what, it's going to be one of these two, so I'll just roll. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's over here. So this trader is over here. All right. Um, or this civilian, excuse me. Um, my turn. I just put a peg in. I did the event card. It is time to get out of here. Captain is going to book it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, there is a door over there, so I'm heading that direction. Um, I forget where he was. <laughs> uh, shoot. I think he was there. Anyway, um, civilian is going to go one, two, three, four. One, two. Oh, he's going to stay with the captain. And then Quell... I'm gonna have, he's gonna have line of sight, but the, uh, he's not gonna be able to catch me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I don't even know if that's line of sight. It does not. Purge phase, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Civilian phase, let's roll for this guy. 
Uh, he's going to run in this direction, so he just runs here. He'll run down in this corner, although the purge is going to see him. Let's roll for this civilian, which is also move uh, move four in the one, two, three, four, and wow! All right, um, so he's got two targets. That might be to, might work to my benefit, and that is the end of that turn. New turn. Uh, I'm still in watch your back hostility phase. And you know what? I did fire a shot. I fired, the captain fired, and I forgot to put a peg. So, um, but fortunately that would not have knocked me out of watch your back. I'd still be in it, but I need to put that extra peg here. All right, captain's turn. Um, I opened this, so I'm going to look at it again. There's a combat sword. There was the common pistol and an outland pistol. Um, both of these I can sell for two. The combat sword might be useful, but the problem is I can't carry it because I have to drop something. So anyway, that's not going to work. All right, so I'm not even going to go near it. Captain is going to make for this door. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um, civilian, one, two, three, four. One, I'm just going to keep him near the captain. Quell. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And Purge will, let's just pick, will you go here or here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, what is that? Three. He's going to go one, two, three, four. And he's going to engage this civilian. So for all practical purposes, on my next turn, it doesn't matter. Uh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't roll for, for new... Um, Sorry, let's roll for the creatures. I may have just made a big mistake. Let's roll for um, the harvester. Uh, there are two. Ooh. And let's roll for the uh, devastator. None. All right, so let's roll for the location of these guys. First one is four, which was back down here. And the other one is two. <laughs> oh, which is, let me look at the map. I think it's going to be very close. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. He is, like, engaged with my civilian. That's not good. Wow. All right. So the problem is my captain moved full, quell moved full, civilian moved full. Now that purge is going to um, want to attack. Now, he's, he's, um, he's not engaged with my captain. Diagonal is not the same. It's, the, uh, it's this, this angle. So he's going to attack my civilian, and he gets two. And he could kill the civilian. It would just uh, two um, would just uh, civilian have no armor, so they've got one hit, and that's enough. So this poor civilian is dead. My crew member, my new crew member, is dead. But and he drops the data chip. All right. So he he killed him. Civilians, I don't care so much. This one, let's just see what he does. Uh, ooh, he didn't didn't do anything. These are jam. Uh, a weapon jam, so he didn't. Nothing happens to him. And then this one right here. Let's see what he does. He's nothing. He's going to stay hidden. So now, when it comes back around, I'm still in watch your back. Uh, I didn't fire any weapons, but it doesn't matter. I still have to roll for new creatures. Um. Oh, this is going to get. This could get ugly. All right. So again, harvester. Let's see how many. One, and let's go ahead and roll for where. Uh, what is that? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he will come in right here. And then let's see if a devastator shows up. One devastator. Let's see where he goes. Uh, he's at six. He's also over here. Well, this worked out for me. All right, so right now what I've got to do is deal with this, this guy. So first action, I'm going to grab the data chip. Second action, I'm going to um, aim and shoot at the harvester with this nice weapon. By the way, I forgot to pull uh, ammo from my character sheet here. So again, I have to put this in here because this is the first shot being fired. Um, he is going to... It gives me three dice. All I need is two stars for a successful death kill. I got four, so he's down. So I can't move, but Quell can bail. One, two, three, four, five, six. Quell is out. Civilian's dead. I'm not worried about these guys. We could just say that one gets them. These are going to move in. 
They're going to be moving in my direction. Uh, he's going to stay hidden. So this guy is going to try to run. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There's no door down here, but there is one there. So this one could get to me. Here's the really scary part. Now I've got to, I've got to, I am on, I move into the cover me hostility phase. So things are getting really bad now. So let's go ahead and do the, it tells me, I don't even have to roll for dice. Two harvesters are going to appear. So let's see where they appear. Uh, three, one, two, three. Let's see where the other one appears. One, which is over here. Let me look at the map again. One is five in. One, two, three, four, five, right there. Okay, now I roll the black die to see if uh, how many devastators appear. Two. Oh, golly. Um, you can see how this game really starts ramping up. All right, so let's see where these two appear. Get these dice out of here before they confuse me. All right, first devastator appears at two, which is not good. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. But, oh, and he is right next to my captain. That's not good. Um, and I did fire a shot, a second shot, so that goes in here. The next devastator appears... Five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I just put him down here. All right. So they appear. I'm going to let this guy take a... You can do what's called an opportunity attack. I am running for it. So the captain is going to attempt to run. And when he does, this guy is going to get a free shot. His close combat is two. So he's going to roll two. Um, and they're paired. So he's actually going to get... I'm trying to remember. I think he gets two attacks on me. Now, the captain has uh, five health, and I have no armor. Ooh, that's not good. All right, so let's see what he does the first one. Uh, does two hits. That does not do anything. So two hits. I'll take off two health. And, ooh. and then the second one, second cheap shot, uh, he does two more. So he's down to one health. Now he does have, he has a special healing skill, but I don't think I'm going to need to use it. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. He is able to get away to the airlock. There are probably, <laughs> there are probably some errors I made in playing this game. What I typically do when I'm learning a new game is um, I read, I keep reading the rules before every game play just to reinforce, um, I, I play a lot of games, so I've got to constantly remind myself. But I read them because I'm sure there's always something I forgot. So the main thing is I want to have fun. I want to keep playing this game, and, and I'll learn the rules as I go. And if I made a mistake, I just roll with it, and I just try not to make that mistake on the next game. Now, as you can see, at this point in time, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight enemies on the field. <laughs> so I wasn't even halfway up the hostility. When it gets up here, you're in trouble. Now keep in mind, this is assuming a two-player game. So you've got, if you're cooperating with your opponent, I call him an opponent, if you're cooperating, you're, you're both hopefully dealing with the purge and not each shooting at each other, although you can. But since I'm playing solo, I don't quite know how to handle that. It's like I'm, I'm playing a two-person game in terms of the enemies, but I'm only one crew. So I'm going to have to figure out how to make that... Um, work for me because it's pretty obvious here with just two crew members by the third phase or fourth one two three by the fourth phase I've got nine or eight enemies on the thing here and uh, if they were all rolled over here I'd, I'd be toast I would have been toast if they'd all appeared over here um, so anyway so what we do next is the game is over and what I'll do is there's uh, since I'm playing a campaign uh, it's assumed that I will do some things for my ship, like do some repairs. Uh, I will, um, I can sell equipment. I can visit some stores. There's there's a whole section on post game play, and I'm not going to go into that right now. I may cover that uh, in the next video. But this was um, this was mission one. So I think for mission two, I'll cover some more rules. I'll clear up anything that I made mistakes here. And I'll also talk about some of the post and pre-game setup. So I hope you like this. This is called Core Space. Let me show you the rule book. This is the rule book. The core game, uh, it's from Battle Systems. 
and it's battlesystems.co.uk. It is a UK company, and uh, it's really fun. And there's lots of expansions for it and lots of crews that you can buy. Uh, the core game comes with two crews, and I think they have four or five boxes out that have an additional crew, uh, five crews, and each crew comes with four miniatures, plus the, the little character sheets and weapon chits and things like that. So I hope you liked it, and if you have any questions, post it, uh, post it in the comment section. I'll do my best to ask, or <laughs> best to answer it. And uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed it, and I'll be back for, uh, for another game very soon. This is Jim, the Tabletop Engineer. Everybody, take care.